What's going on guys? It's Michael and welcome back to another gaming video. Um, sorry I don't really have too much of an introduction to this game, but this is Destiny. Um, some of you may have heard me talking about this game from before. Uh, quick rundown, you're basically what's called a guardian. You have these different powers and you're trying to um, well, protect humanity from aliens on other planets. So I'm making this uh, more of a teaser video. Um, this is this game is uh, mostly for people who like maybe science fiction or something futuristic. Um, anyways, hope you enjoy. Um, for this teaser video, I'm going to be playing today's daily heroic story, and I'll be doing it on level 30, which is the hardest one I can do for today. Um, basically, when you're going through, is there's a lot to learn when you're starting out in Destiny. I won't be using my top-notch items right now, simply because I want to work on uh, leveling up some of my uh, s uh, smaller stuff that haven't been fully upgraded yet. So um, I'll try to have some extra uh, stuff that I do during the, during the mission, but uh, here we go. It's very open world, this game, and um, you, know, you get to choose whatever you want to do. Um, you have a lot of that, uh, the freedom to do whatever you want. There's reports a team of guardians went dark near the old Skywatch. They were running a mission for Tech Orbit, and toads to a hidden way that could be connected to the colonies and systems. If we can find their codes, maybe we can go for the red. All right. So, let's head there and see if we can find them. So, it's a lot of different things you'd have to learn when you're starting out with this game. Just don't don't be too intimidated by it. There are some parts where you, where you will need to, you might need to learn from other people in order to do it. But of course, things come with time, things come with experience. So, anyways, like I said, I'm doing the daily heroic story for today, which is um, which is on the side of the set destination, if you saw that, with all the planets, um, just before I entered the, the, the game world. And uh, already I can see some of these other people around. So um, they come every day, obviously it's daily, and they're just like special events that are slightly harder than the norm, um, but you can just uh, participate in them for the, uh, for the higher reward levels. The Vanguard say they're spilling onto the surface now, keeping the Fallen busy. Alright, so right now I'm using what's called a Striker on my Titan class. And what that basically is, is that uh, it's um, each Guardian is a certain type of Guardian, and each cl uh, class of Guardian has different subclasses, which have certain perks. Everything has their own perks, obviously. You know, things are equal. Just keep mealing these guys. Come on. Hold on. Oh, and one thing you might be frustrated about when you're playing this game is that a headshot does not mean um, one-shot kill. So any precision uh, hits that I get that are in yellow numbers, those don't guarantee a one-hit kill. Alright, looks like it's time for the ability. So that was the Titan Strikers Fist of Havoc, and that's just basically a big smash onto the ground that creates a good destruction field, uh, mainly composed of electricity. The ghosts are still here. The fallen have them. So they're known as super abilities, and basically what you do with those is that uh, you have to charge them up first, and when the text says supercharged, which you might have seen back there, um, it came in yellow text. Uh, 
Then you can use your ability by pressing the two triggers, whether you're playing on Xbox or PS3. For this one, I'm playing on PS3. So that would be L2 and R2 simultaneously. Nothing here. Need one more vandal and then I'll be good to go. Oh, thank you. This one still holds the tunes. Let's find the array. Just take out these guys first. All right. I'll just skip them. They're not too strong. The darkness is growing stronger. We have to finish this. The array control station is in the next sector. Alright, here we go. And there's always these uh, respawning restricted places. Normally they come uh, on missions. And basically if you die in them, you get reset to the beginning of that zone. Which can sometimes be a little bit, um, you know, frustrating, especially if you're near the end of it. Not dead yet. The control station. This is it. This is a oh, and this what I'm using right now is called a fusion rifle. It has to charge up, but it has some. It puts out a series of shots, which you know they do pretty good damage to, uh, per shot per round. Concerning weapons, there are different perks for different weapons. Every weapon has a perk. Um, except for when you're in the very beginning of the game, you might not have as many perks. Uh, you might not find any perks because they're white and they're common materials, so they won't have too much. But as soon as you hit the green level, uh, which is the uncommon, right now I'm not using those. I'm using legendary and exotic. But, um, you know. Especially especially with Legendary Exotic, you get a lot of different perks that you can use. But anyways, these the, the different perks, you know, they vary between weapons. And, you know, they're, they, they, they support you, obviously. Hold on. So if you're wondering, um, the person who's actually speaking is this little guy right here, and that's basically what's called a ghost. Um, you can learn a lot about it um, on different Destiny wikias and whatever. There's a lot of different places on the internet where you can find out, you know, how it works and all. Um, but you know, this is mainly just a teaser video for those who like science fiction or and or futuristic games. Um, this is just something I would recommend to you if, you know, you play it. And those, I don't want to get hit by. Okay, so we got these guys. Yeah, they'll just run up at you.
reload this. It's my rocket launcher. See, there's a lot of learns uh, about Destiny if you're gonna start playing it. But, um, you know. I mean, if you decide to play it, you can ask me for more information. If you're not gonna play it, then, well, you know, you don't need to worry about it too much. So anyways, I'm sorry I'm not really talking too much about the actual uh, stuff about, uh, too much about Destiny, because there's really, there's really so much for me to explain that I don't think I can get it all in this one teaser video. But anyways, I still recommend that you try out this game. Um, even if you don't want to get the real version, you can still download a trial version on PS3, PS4, and the Xbox game consoles as well. Um, though it is limited, but it is free, so if you want to just try that out, you can. Um, other than that, um, I hope you enjoyed this teaser video, really. Um, yeah, but like I said, there's so much to explain about Destiny that if I was going to try to explain it all today, in this teaser video, it would take way too long, and, um, well, I mean, you can ask me about it later on, so, and this is just, uh, this is just an example of all the perks you can find in, in anything, actually, like, in a lot of, uh, weapons and armor pieces. Every armor piece has perks, every weapon has it as well, so... Yes, it does take a while to get yourself familiarized with all of these different things that are happening at the same time. And one last thing before we go, well, before I go, I'm going to show you guys the tower, which is the multiplayer social space. Hopefully this doesn't take too long to load, so we can uh, just get in there. Um, you can skip this part if you want when you're watching. Uh, you can just skip to the part where I transport in. So basically the tower is not really an activity, it's not really a mission that you have to do, it's just a multiplayer social space that you would find other guardians, you could pair, uh, find a little team, make some friends, but uh, you know, you can basically settle down, you know, take a break or something, you know? So anyways, this tower is also called the, uh, is located at, on Earth, and it's at a place that is called The Last City, and what happened is, as a quick rundown, um, basically, humanity was overrun by all these different aliens um, on all these different planets after we expanded to uh, Mars, Venus, and the Moon. Um, so we're just trying to, basically, we're just trying to protect ourselves, keep ourselves from extinction, but the tower is actually the last city on Earth that is still safe and open to the public. Alright, so we're at the tower. So, um, there's a lot of different things you can do with the tower. There's a vault, which can be accessed by all of your different characters. You can have up to three. Uh, here I'm at the Cryptarch, which basically is, uh, you know, you can um, encrypt or decrypt your... Um, your armor pieces or any engrams that you find in the field. 
you can't use engrams on yourself because uh, they're not decrypted yet. This is the Postmaster, you get all your mail here. I got a Vanguard package for this one. And this is the Bounty tractor, uh, Tracker. Basically he tracks all your bounties and he can... Um, well, he basically gives you experience for them, really. So it's pretty darn good. Um, you know, I like it. There's gun vendors, there's different factions, and lots of different things you can explore around here and around Destiny. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this teaser video. Um, you can just uh, private message me or like, um, you know, ask me questions if you're interested and want to know more about Destiny. Um, there are different uh, currencies that you have to like, learn about as well. So anyways, um, I hope you learned something about Destiny. If you're interested in playing, you know, you can get the trial version or you can try to invest some money and maybe get the full version. Um, overall, I think it's a pretty good game. It has a lot of different open world and lots of freedom for you to just roam around and do whatever. So, with that, I'll bid you adieu.